Today we're in Judges chapter 15, and it's this kind of crazy, bizarre story about Samson coming back into the Philistine area, wanting to, well, he's got a He's got a Philistine wife, and he goes to his father-in-law and says, I want to come see my wife. And he says, I I thought you hated her. I gave her to another person. And Samson is enraged. He's he's angry at at all the Philistines. And listen to what he does. Here's what he does. It says in chapter 15, verse 4, Samson went and caught 300 foxes and took torches Turned the fox's tail to tail and put a torch between each pair of tails. And when he had set the torches on fire, he let the foxes go into the standing grain of the Philistines and burned up both the shocks and the standing grain, as well as the vineyards and the olive groves. Now, some people say there's no way he could do that with foxes, but the word fox could also mean jackals, and they traveled in packs of 200 sometimes. So whatever the animal was, the story is, he's so enraged that he captures all these, he ties torches between their tails and sends them through their vineyards and through their fields and he burns down the Philistines, well, their produce. He burns down their livelihood, he burns down their food. The Philistines respond and they're angry at the father-in-law and so they burn down his house and kill him and Samson's wife. It's kind of, this is kind of like the story of the mafia. These guys are burning each other down and Samson's right in the middle of it. And it's an interesting, crazy story. So Samson returns back to Israel, back to Judah, and the Philistines come looking for him. And the people of Israel are afraid of all these Philistines who gathered around. So they capture Samson and turn him over to the Philistines. And they're gonna they're gonna kill Samson, but Samson somehow, uh, as they're taking him away, the, the scripture says the spirit of the Lord came upon him, and he takes a jawbone of a donkey, and he slays a thousand Philistines. And what's crazy about this is the Philistines in that day, in that time, in that era, were known to have the best weapons and military force on the face of the earth, but Samson takes him out with a jawbone. And if you go back uh, many chapters, I think it's chapter 3, where we first hear about these judges, Shamgar kills a bunch of them with an ox goat. And then if you want to talk about even a crazier thing, further on into the life of these Philistines, one of their greatest warriors, one of their greatest champions is a guy named Goliath. And a little shepherd boy takes out their greatest warrior with a sling and a rock. And, and, and the, the purpose of sharing all that is this, is this, that even though there may be a mightier force, even though there may seem to be something that you can't conquer or come against, God uses a guy with a jawbone, a guy with an ox goat, a, a guy with a rock to take down some of the most advanced warriors of the day. I say all that to say this, that even though the enemy may seem stronger and bigger and sometimes you seem like you're outnumbered, with the Lord, we can do above and beyond what we would ever think. God will use the weak and the foolish things sometimes to confound the wise. And that's why we love him, that's why we trust him, and that's why we know we can go into difficult situations just like Samson did, and God can help us and bring us into victory.